Welcome to Bassoon Inspired and this is programme 20, a programme with something of a difference here. As you can see, obviously, it's a video rather than an audio, which most of the programmes are. And the reason this is a video is because I wanted to show you what I am doing here. Uh, this might sound ridiculous, but there is a possibility in this programme of a Mozart world premiere. I can't guarantee it, but what I'm using here um, is actually a game which was devised by Mozart and it is a set of instructions to compose without the least knowledge of music so much German valse or Schleifer as one pleases by throwing a certain number with two dice. So effectively it's a method for composing German waltzes. And um, because there are two dice, the numbers from 2 to 12, um, he's created a set of tables here which relate to the eight bars of the first section of a German waltz and the eight bars of a second section. Um, and uh, we have uh, single bars which are all numbered in here. There is a total of 176 bars and this means that when you do this there are literally millions of possibilities of German waltzes. So it's quite possible that one of these, maybe two, maybe all three, I don't know, has never ever been heard before. Uh, okay, it's not going to be great music, we know that, but the fact is it's by a great composer uh, who obviously had a brilliant mathematical mind and a good sense of humour uh, and set up this wonderful little game to do this. So, here we have two dice, just ordinary dice, and what I'm going to do here is write down in good old fashioned pen and paper, like what Mozart himself used. Um, it's in 3 8 time, they're all in C major. Uh, what you have actually are melodies with very simple harmonies. It's written like a very simple piano part. Um, I shall play obviously just the solo line, which works perfectly well. Uh, if you play the piano, of course, you can, um, uh, you can play these as little piano pieces. Um, and um, this is downloadable off the internet. You can find this on IMSLP. It's a very old edition. It's perfectly legal. There's no copyright on any of this. Uh, and it's great fun to do. And uh, <laughs> I think, I don't think you'll get any winner at the end of it. Um, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lovely process. And I'm going to start right now by throwing two dice to work out what bar one is. Now I've got number six and in bar A in the first section number six is bar 148. What's 148? And that goes ba 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 bum. So I just write this down. Bum 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 bum. Right, that's that. Right, the next bar, which we'll look up in column B, uh, this is number seven. So column B, number seven, is bar 157. And 157 goes like, where is it? Here we are. Ba, 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. There we are. And then I'll just two more, do two more bars, and then the process is the same right the way through. So third bar in column C is number five, and in column C that is bar one one three. One one three is um, 
Bom, bom, bom. FDB. Good. And the last one I'm going to do just now. Fourth bow, which takes us halfway through the first section. Column D. And we've got six on the dice, which is bar 45. And bar 45 is. Ba 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 ba. Excuse me, singing out of tune. Okay. So that's how it works. It's very, very, very simple. Um, and all he's doing is really is tapping into a musical formula that was. Um, uh, that, that worked for these German waltzes at the time. It's basically a harmonic formula and he's just written um, little fragments, single bar fragments of melody uh, and very simple harmonies around these, uh, this, this harmonic sequence um, to write what must have been a, a form of mass-produced 18th century music, uh, German music. Uh, it's great fun to do. Uh, as I said, it's not going to create any great masterpieces, but they're, they're fun tunes. And once you've got the tune, of course, it's what you do with them. Um, you know, not every tune that Mozart or Haydn or even Beethoven wrote was necessarily terribly sophisticated. Um, but it's what you make of them that really uh, brings them to life. So, um, anyway, I shall carry on with this. And on the video, the next thing we will cut to is the actual waltzes themselves. So here is Mozart, possibly as we have never heard before, but whatever it is, it's good fun. <laughs>
There we are. Three Mozart waltzes. Thanks for joining me today on that rather interesting little exploration. And please join me again tomorrow for more bassoon inspiration.